could dematerialize and pass through solid objects. Let's see if he was right. In this case, the magician will be traveling through the object. No, he's not going to take one last look at his costume before the trip. That big mirror is all part of the trick. Once again, so are the girls. The magician begins by examining a magical portal. There's a split in the center of the portal that allows him to pass his hand through. See? Apparently the opening works on both sides. Nice job, girls. The panel is secured in place over one side of the mirror. This mirror has two faces, so the magician calls for another panel. Yep, this one has a split too. Can you guess what happens next? That's right, the second panel is secured in place. The magician takes one last look behind the mirror. There he goes with those magic gestures again. It won't be long now. There he is, but that was supposed to be solid plate glass. Yet his hand is moving straight through. How's that for a dramatic entrance? A quick tap on the mirror to prove it's still there, and the illusion is complete. How did he do it? It's easier than you think. As the trick begins, the magician shows us the magic portal that will allow him to walk through the mirror. The girls are kind enough to show us the front and back of the portal, and it is put into place. The mirror is spun around and the second portal is brought out. This time the magician shows us the front, but not the back. Here's why. As we look behind this portal, we see that there are two secret panels hidden by the fabric. A hole cut in the center gives the magician just enough space to slide his hand through, making this portal appear as innocent as the first. But when the panels are slid out from behind the cloth, we see that they are actually two mirrors. They are the key to this illusion. This second portal is locked into place just like the first, and the magician walks around behind the mirror. He pretends to cast a magical spell on the portal. This misdirection gives our assistants time to slide the two mirrored panels out of the portal and lock them into place. Watch again closely and you can see that the frame of the large mirror contains hidden tracks that will hold the two panels firmly in place. Just like the sliding doors at home, except for the girls. The camera moves around to the front and it looks like we are seeing the original mirror. Instead, what we really see are the two fake mirror panels separated by the black fabric portal. Meanwhile, behind the mirror, the magician grabs onto a secret handle and pulls the big mirror away from its frame. It's actually hinged like a door. Now all that stands in his way is the fabric portal on the mirror's front side. As the magician makes his dramatic move through the portal, the assistant standing behind the mirror closes it behind him. Then she makes her way around to the front for the big finish, walking through a mirror as simple as that.